<laughs> Yellow Labrador. Need more pets. Sell all this shit on. No need of all this bollocks. Thank you. Not that he has need of it anyways, either. Um, okay, okay. Plus one intellect. Wow. Plus two dexterity. Wow. Okay, so there's tons of people to talk about. Talk to. Miserable little bastard. Okay. Who are you? Let's talk to her. <coughs> A woman sits by herself, spinning something on the table in front of her, and watching it with furious intensity. About the size of a coin, it wobbles over uh, a crack in the f wood with a metallic rattle. She snatches it up in one hand, and slams a half-empty cup down on the table with the other. This is not a good time. What are you doing here? Just trying to calm down, trying to talk myself out of something foolish. Something foolish? She says nothing for a few moments, as if hoping you'd leave. Uh, at last, Kendra looks at, up at you. Uh, the lamplight falls across her face. A purpling bruise uh, is blossoming along her cheekbone. There's something I need to give to my fiance, Ernest. Only he doesn't seem to go anywhere without his new friends, and it makes sense pleasant company. Who hit you? Uh, I know this how, how this looks. <coughs> it's not like uh, Pony is. Pony, whatever. He's called Pony now. It's these new friends of his. They brought out uh, the worst in him. Tell me about these new friends. Come into the ho house with their dead eyes and their black teeth. I'm not a fool. I know what that means. Pony makes me leave when they show up, but it's obvious what they come to do. Last time they came, I told them to get out. Let them have the funds, fun elsewhere in the gift, but not under my roof. She scowls and then winces her fingers, gently probing her bruise. Seth changes you, I guess. The pony I knew wouldn't have squashed a spider. I never thought he'd... She trails off, still feeling the swarm of the scar of flesh. But... I thought... yeah. I don't really know. Seems better than believing he's always been this way. Maybe I could go talk to him. There's nothing more to say to him. <coughs> we finished. I just want to give uh, this back to him and have a clean break. A ring clatters onto the table. Benevolent. It was his grandmother's. Even after this, I don't have the heart to sell it off. But if I go back there myself, I know what'll happen. I'll lose my timber and I'll probably wind up with another one of these. I wouldn't only hand this off to a stranger, but people say uh, you've a good, got a good heart. If you give this back to him, he'll know we're done. I will take the ring to Pony then. The house is just north of here. Just please don't hurt him. As furious as I am, I don't want that on my conscience. Okay, let's do that. Poor woman. He won't see me coming. Oh, oops. I, I that was too bad. Oh, tennis ring. Perseverance. You can have that. What's out here? And uh, so many people to talk to. Oh, well, have a look at. Merchant? No. Okay. Mercenary. Bodyguard, noble, commoner, okay. Fine. I need to talk to all of these people at some point. But first, let's go 
deliver this ring. <clears throat> Just north of here. Just north of here. Um, there. Let us save before we go in there, just in case we kill him. Accidentally kill him. <sighs> Mercenary, addict, addict. Mercenary, addict, addict, addict. Seth. Uh, max endurance, 600 seconds. Well, let me track back to the provinces. Uh, Where the market uh, for the plant in question enjoy uh, rapid rising demand. Most commonly chewed on here, the substance is infamous for the near catatonic state in which it often places its adherents. Those who use it claim that. The drug gives them a sense of urgency and meaning lost when the effect fades. More colorful accounts claim the drug allows one to look into themselves and witness the side of the own soul. Okay, so it's like marijuana. Personally. <coughs> Hello! The man before you flashes a toothy and rather unpleasant grin. Well, now, in your face. Welcome, friend. My name's P Pony. And this uh, is my humble abode and place of business. I, and I do hope you're in here to do some business. Mm, no. Sure. Right. Very perceptive. This business attracts some less pleasant types. Sometimes the clientele <laughs> gets a little pushy, and every so often someone even turns out to be snooping into things they shouldn't, and lessons have to be taught. I'm sure you're too smart to get wrapped right in all of that, of course. What is Seth? You serious? Uh, Seth is worth every pad, my friend. It's incredible. Let's just see your own soul. Uh huh. Let's see what you have in stock. He has Seth. Okay, let's go. Good day to you. <laughs> nice. What's this for? <coughs> you don't. Uh, you don't recognize the wedding band you gave Kendra. Oh yeah, I see now. She makes a statement. Is she? Good friends to her then. Sorry I ever spent the coin to begin with. <laughs> now is that all? How dare you hit your own fiance? How can you live with yourself? She was asking for it. Uh, no. No excuse. Sort of like you right now. Maybe you ought to quit digging around in affairs that don't concern you. Me, I've got business to get back to. He points the doors that way. Then you won't be doing it for at all. Oh, shit. Ah. Aha, I see. So he is not pony at all. Stop! Too late. There you go, just leave and I'll peace go peacefully, alright? Too late. Way too late. I'm glad he wasn't pony. Oh, 
now she's gonna have a whole house full of bodies to get back to. It's gonna be nice for her. Alright. What is it? Uh, oh. Fine roads. Let's give that to him. Oh, fuck. Oh well. All this shit. No, it's good. Okay, fantastic. Oh, he already has final ropes. Different? Nope, not in any way. Ah, oh, fair enough. Keeping an eye out. Of course. Any more guards? Nope, just addicts. I'll take a look. I open that. I don't want to carry stuff around. Or whatever it's called. I'll see it done. Thirty gold. Alright. <coughs> so he was not pony. What is that? I don't know. Sword. Let's give that to Kana. Uh, fine, small shield, stiletto, spear, and a flail. Oh, and a key. Let's do that. Kana, you have a fine stock. This is. This one has damage reduction. That is fine. That one has slashing and piercing. Can we enchant it? Maybe. Quality is fine. Good. Be slain? No. No. If we could put on secondary damage, that would be great. But we need uh, <coughs> some different gems and stuff. In order to do so. Okay, but well, that's fine. What about her? I mean, no. Oh well. Yes. Uh, yeah, fine. More gold. Always good. <coughs> it appears as though someone runs through this uneven row of books in a hurry. Okay. These jars are chipped and cracked as if knocked to the ground and set back in place. Okay. Uh, DM direct, whatever. Pony! A man lies bound and bloodied on the floor before you. His face is a tapestry of bruises and blood is spattered across several corners of the room. The man cringes and sobs as you approach. Gods, please. Please, no more. I can't take any more. 
I'm not here to hurt you. Man pauses against kisses up at you. Do not Oh praise Baraf. You're not one of his men, are you? Dances nervously behind you. I he shakes his head. Please, I don't know who you are, but my name is Pony. This is my house. Who was that downstairs? An imposter, some wizard named Nyrid. He came into my house, tied me up in here, tortured me, and now now he and his men are eating my food, breaking my things, selling Seth inside my own house. Diplomatic looks away, and I may have hung out, uh, hung onto a tiny portion of my supplier's share, but I needed that money. Uh, so yourself, Dita. Look, I know it's not the not the best line of work, especially with all that's happening, but it pays well, very, very well. And well, people want the stuff, don't they? Uh, mm. What did your supplies do? You send it on the wizards, the men downstairs, to make uh, up the lost copper, I guess, and to hurt me while he was at it. Feels like it's been days. He's already taken care of. I can't believe the knife is finally over. Uh, you have no idea what you've done for me, but I need to find my love, Kendra. Only after whatever Nara put her through, I'm afraid she won't give me a chance to explain. She might listen to you. She must be in the, somewhere in Cobra Lane's only home, she know. Uh. <sighs> Can you send me in the first place, please? I'll go talk to her. Hello? Hello? Someone has gathered sheets and towels into a mix of bed. The rump of the family is stiff with blood and unwashed sweat. Uh, one side of the overturned bar is spoiled with crimson. Okay. Poor man. Yes, let's get downstairs. <coughs> Say. Someone has peeled the label from these bottles. The stuff with dark, gunky pulp that gives off a pungent odor. The, no, what about this one? What about that thing? A pot's across it was shot with some unidentifiable gunk. Lovely. The, this book of Fuller and Love sonnets has dedication on the first page. To my beloved Kendra. Okay. No. <laughs> Let's go back and tell the woman that the man was not her man. <coughs> I had no idea. Pony, he. No, what did she say? What happened to Pony? Did you give him the ring? He brings her fist down and is sloshing her drink. Damn it! How can I trust him after all this? That he lied to me for this long. Puts her hand through her hands. I should be just be glad I found out about this before the wedding. Right now, he needs your help and forgiveness. You think I could help him turn around? I hadn't thought of it uh, that way. You really do see the best in everyone. It's fine, Spay. Mind the positive. Yay. 
I appreciate what you've done for us, and I'm certain Pokemon feels the same way. You're always welcome to come see us if you need anything. Oh, and take this, so you don't have something. No, I picked it up from one of the merchants to help me stand firm in my decision. I'll be fine with that now. Okay, this old self. Uh, Nectus. Ooh, Insect and Resolve. Uh, Reflect and Healing Bonus. Boop. Oh, he had Deception plus two. He has nothing. He can have this. Boop. So you can have that. There we go. Okie dokes. Well, well, that was lovely. Um, we got uh, 3,600 XP. Wonderful. Um, still nowhere near leveling up. Oh well. This has been it for this time. Uh, thanks for watching, anyone who's watched. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.